Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. This video is going to be a little scientific experiment, if you want to call it that, that uh, I'm going to conduct, which is basically going to explain capillary action. Okay, now capillary action takes place in our aquariums at all times. And what I did is take three jars. I filled them with two inches of a uh, poly filtering material, cut them, packed them. Two jars, jar number two and three, have a plenum. Jar three had a hole put in the plenum with a straw. That's the only difference between the jar two and three. Jar number one, the polyfilter material was just placed at the bottom. Now imagine jar number one being an aquarium where you would just take your substrate and place it on the bottom. Your substrate wouldn't be quite like this polyfilter because this polyfilter has the ability to attract like a sponge. Uh, where if you put water on a sponge, it just sucks it up. Polyfilters like this will do the same thing. And jar number two, jar number three have the same polyfilter, but I built in that plenum. One thing though I noticed immediately after pouring in the dye that jars number two and three were already showing great capillary action of the blue coming through the white polyfilter. And of course, here's the polyfilter here. It's pretty dense and it is over an inch thick. So I decided to use this, but imagine if you could, like you're looking at jar number one right now, imagine if you could, if that was a substrate and this was a substrate more like, let's say dirt, sand, uh, with a tighter matrix to it, where poor water and permeability would even be worse than this polyfilter. Imagine that if you can, because that's what happens as the granule size, like with dirt and sand, becomes smaller and smaller. Your poor water and permeability start being compromised. Unlike that of like when we make a BCB basket and it's electrically charged because of the cat litter as a crystalline structure where your sand does not. And this would explain a lot because when you place your substrate directly on the bottom, like jar number one has versus jar two and three have the substrate a little bit off the bottom. This would explain why we seem to have troubles in our aquarium. Not everybody is 100% successful or they could wind up with lots of problems. Most hobbies will say, yeah, but this could be solved with plants. Well, not everybody has a green thumb. Not everybody has the wherewithals to uh, buy hundreds of dollars worth of plants. You have to make sure you have rooted plants Plants like uh, that are easy for the hobbyist, like Anubias or Java Fern, uh, their roots don't really penetrate into the substrate, like let's say an Amazon sword, where its roots have to be buried into the substrate. I'm giving that as an example. So because of this, and you're going to be dependent upon how well will you be able to grow that particular plant and how well is it photosynthesizing to create oxygen at the root system to move water through the substrate and move what is in the main aquarium into the substrate and then the roots can take that into the root systems. By, as you can see, jar number one the, it's having trouble with the migration of the blue going through it, where jar number two here already shows blue at the very bottom of it, and it's using a plenum. Okay. 
because the fluid is able to move easier through in and out of the substrate easier, but capillary action is hindered but not as bad as jar number one which is next to it on the left hand side as you see where capillary action has really been hindered and slowed down a lot going through the poly pad that I had put in there. The experiment could be done. At, you can do the experiment but that's what I wanted to show you this because this is nothing but physics and as time goes on you can already see jar number two is blue at the bottom all the way through. Jar number one still the blue is migrating through but very very slowly and you can't see really jar number three very good but it already has a tint of blue where the plenum is also that's the one that has the, the straw in it in it and you may ask yourself why is this happening well the glass jar number one here on your left the intersection of topography has been cut off with the glass being underneath your polyfilter where jar two and three here that you're looking at already are showing blue. Jar number three is already showing blue. You can see a bit of the blue at the very, very bottom of the mesh screen there where jar number two, it's really blue, but you could still see some white because it's going to vary on the capillary action that's happening going through the jar. It's not going to be completely even but as you can see, it's already blue, where jar number one is still struggling, trying to get the blue through the poly filter compared to jar number two, which is right next to it on your right. You can see it's all blue now. Okay, this only took to get that blue through jar two and jar three about 15 minutes. It took just a little longer, maybe 20 minutes with jar number three. But these two jars, jars two and three, already were showing a lot of blue that came through the poly filter. And here it is, jar number one, as you see on your left, still cannot get the blue going through it. And here's jar number two right next to it. It's already blue within a few minutes because of the capillary action that winds up happening because it is using a plenum. And you can imagine then why, if you look at jar one, why people have trouble with their aquariums trying to uh, settle in, could have algae problems because as time goes on, heterotrophic bacteria build up faster than autotrophic bacteria and compete with autotrophic bacteria for oxygen needs, okay? The very top of your substrate is getting all kinds of organic matter, which it's going to start breaking down. That organic matter can start migrating inside your substrate, and the heterotrophic bacteria are going to start breaking it down, utilizing as much oxygen as they can, and they can even compete and starve out the heterotrophic bacteria that you're looking for to do your nitrogen cycle. Within a few minutes, you can see jar one still white, jar two completely blue at the bottom, jar three is also showing a slight tint of blue on the bottom from the blue migrating through. Now remember, I'm not doing anything except allowing the blue dye to migrate through the polyfilter on its own accord through capillary action. I am, I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not using any bubbles. I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, pushing anything down on the, on the, on the poly filters or anything. I'm not doing anything like that. All the water in all these containers are stagnated. They're not even moving, you know. 
they're just stagnated water in each container. So the water is not moving around or anything. Like I said, this is just through capillary action. But you can see jar one, how it's being hindered. And the only reason it's being hindered is because it's sitting on the bottom of the jar. And you can imagine this happening in your aquarium. This photo shows jar number one. And if you look at the very right hand of the jar, you will see where a little of the blue has migrated completely down to the bottom. Okay, but this is after quite some time of at least 20 plus minutes. Here's the three jars. And jar number one is still struggling. Two is doing fine. Three is doing fine too. The, the, you can see it's already been tinted blue. It's all, already down to the very bottom of the jar. And it seems to have very little problems. All three of these jars, where jar two and three are half the die going all the way through. But look at jar number one still. It's still now we come to the jars after 20 minutes and you can see jar number one still has white jar number two completely blue and after 20 minutes jar number three is showing blue in the very very bottom of that jar two compared to jar number one and this is after 20 minutes. So this, uh, this really isn't a very good sign because if you imagine jar number one, like I said, this is going to cause you problems in the long run. And I know what people are thinking, plants will do the trick, but plants aren't dependable. They are not a reliable source to bring what's in the aquarium down into the substrate and back what's in the substrate back into the aquarium so your bacteria can use it. Uh, I will be starting uh, new videos on an SCA aquarium and I will go step by step with the video on how to make a plenum or how I will make a plenum and it will be a slow moving plenum. It will have a very small bubbler and it should help you in my next few videos on setting up aquarium, how I'm going to do it, and I will go step by step with you and I'm going to walk you through everything. But look at these three jars after 20 minutes. It doesn't look very promising, does it? About jar number one and what it's doing. And of course, here you have jar number one after 45 minutes. The bottom is still white. Now that's not a very good sign when you're trying to wait 45 minutes for water to penetrate all the way through your substrate. But this even gets worse than this. Okay, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Where now, jars two and three bottoms with the plenum are completely blue after 45 minutes. Okay, they're, they're completely blue. They have done the job which they were designed to of bringing what's in the top half into the complete bottom half and like I said just imagine this is your aquarium and this is what's happening look at that jar it still has white it still through capillary action hasn't completely saturated the polyfilter and here's the bottom of jar number two 
after 30 minutes. It's completely blue, okay, through capillary action. And then the next photo will show jar number three. It's completely blue. This is from capillary action after 30 minutes. But now we are going to look at jar number one after one hour. You see the white on the left and the white all in the center and you'll see white on the right and you'll see little spots of white still on the bottom. That's after one hour. It still has not completely permeated the blue to the white polyfilter. That should be all completely blue, but it's not. After an hour, it still, through capillary action, hasn't been able to bring in all the blue dye to the very, very bottom. This is what I try to explain to you. But now, if you think this is bad, it even gets worse from here. Now, this is the bottom of jar number one after an hour and 30 minutes. And it still is showing on the right hand side white on the very bottom. It is still showing white and a little bit of white there on the right hand side. So after an hour and a half the blue has not even penetrated all the way through. Now if you look at the very bottom of the jar, the very bottom, you could see it's quite blue. And you will see in other parts of the jar where the blue is very light in color and then there's another spot of a little dark blue a uh, little off center to your left, uh, uh, upper left there is a little dark blue. The bottom is dark blue. But basically the blue you're seeing on the bottom is very light and you still see white from the poly filter. And that's after an hour and a half. Okay, that's what happens in your aquarium. You slow down the process of capillary action going through your substrate. Here it is, people. This is the physics. That's all part of physics. Uh, physics 101. And I'm showing you right here that when you put a substrate at the bottom, this is what happens. If you put a substrate like sand, dirt, or you make it even thicker, it even slows down more so. And this is what gives you anaerobic conditions. Okay, so I hope you like my little experiment. It's a, it's a very easy experiment. You can conduct it yourself if you want. But it pretty much shows you that substrates placed on the bottom of aquarium is not a good idea to move fluids and to move food stuff from the aquarium into your gravel to your biological filter and to your plant roots. Until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Enjoy your aquarium keeping and thank you very much for watching my video.